Imagine sailing across the vast open ocean, the salt air biting at your face. When you spot a ship drifting, hauntingly silent, sails billowing but no soul on deck. This isn't just a scene from a sailor's tale. It's the beginning of one of the greatest mysteries the sea has ever whispered, the mystery of Mary Celeste. The Mary Celeste was a brigantine, her wooden frame sturdy and sails as wide as the mysteries she holds. She set sail in 1872, destined for Genoa, Italy, but never reached her port. Instead, she would become a ghost ship, found adrift with no one aboard. Her crew vanished as if plucked from existence by the gods of the sea. On her final voyage, the Mary Celeste carried a precious cargo of industrial alcohol, over 1,700 barrels worth of fortune in those days. She was manned by Captain Benjamin Briggs, a seasoned seaman, his family, and a loyal crew. They left New York on a cold November day, waving goodbye to a land they would never set eyes upon again. Then, on December 5, 1872, a passing ship named the De Gratia found the Mary Celeste adrift in the Atlantic. Her sails were set, her cargo largely intact, and the crew's belongings undisturbed. The only clue was a lifeboat, missing, as if it had been launched in a hurry. The ship's logbook stopped ten days before her discovery, the final entries giving no clue as to the fate of those on board. What happened to the Mary Celeste's crew? Did they flee from an unseen terror? A mutiny? Or was it something more? Supernatural. The sea keeps her secrets, but we'll dive into the depths of history to bring the truth to the surface. When news of the deserted Mary Celeste hit the shores, it spread like wildfire, igniting the public's imagination. A ship found without her crew, adrift on the ocean, a true ghost ship story that had turned to reality. People whispered in the streets, spun tales in the taverns, and speculated wildly. Was it pirates? Sea monsters, perhaps? Or had the crew stumbled upon a cursed treasure buried deep within the belly of their own ship? The theories were as many as the stars that once guided the Mary Celeste. But the fantasies of the public would soon meet the stern face of official inquiry. The salvage hearings began, a legal proceeding to unravel the mystery and, more practically, to decide the fate of the ship and her cargo. Every detail was scrutinized, every piece of evidence turned over in the hope of an answer. The ship herself was a silent witness brought to the stand. The Mary Celeste was found in good condition, her cargo of alcohol untouched, except for nine empty barrels. And the weather reports? They spoke of rough seas, but nothing that the seasoned crew of the Mary Celeste couldn't handle. What then could compel a captain to order his family and crew into a lifeboat, leaving behind a perfectly sound vessel? Was it fear, confusion, or something more sinister? The fate of the Mary Celeste stayed a mystery as the courts failed to reach a decision. Could the crew have fallen prey to piracy? The idea of a rogue attack on the high seas has enticed many, but with the cargo intact and personal belongings undisturbed, the piracy theory holds little water. Murder and foul play seem unlikely aboard the ghostly vessel without any evidence of violence. Then, we turn our gaze to the wrath of the ocean itself. Did a fearsome waterspout, which can appear as a whirling column of air and water, cause the crew to fear for their lives? Or perhaps a seaquake shook the very foundations of their world, prompting a panicked escape? Or might it have been a fatal error in judgment? A misinterpretation of the ship's safety could have led to an unnecessary abandonment. The missing lifeboat suggests a hasty exit, but why leave without evidence of an emergency? And then, there are whispers of the supernatural, tales of ghostly forces, Bermuda Triangle-esque phenomena, and curses from the deep. These tales passed down through generations have turned the Mary Celeste into a legend that refuses to die. From the rational to the fantastical, the speculation is as boundless as the ocean. But what really happened to the crew of the Mary Celeste? The truth remains as elusive as a horizon shrouded in fog. Let's journey back to 1884, when a young Arthur Conan Doyle was inspired by the haunting tale to pen 
J. Habakkuk Jeffson's statement, a fictional account that ignited public intrigue. Though inaccurate, it thrust the Mary Celeste back into the spotlight and sowed the seeds of a legend. Fast forward to the modern era, she's been at the center of horror movies, featured in documentaries, and even appeared in the background of science fiction tales. But why does this story continue to grip us? It could be the universal fear of the unknown or the temptation of an unsolvable puzzle. As the hands of time continue to turn, the mystery of the Mary Celeste has not been left adrift. Modern investigators, historians, scientists, and curious minds alike have reopened the case, armed with technological advancements and fresh perspectives. Scientists have used sophisticated computer models to test theories of rogue waves and explosive fumes. Historians have re-examined naval records and personal accounts, searching for overlooked clues. With the power of today's technology, we've uncovered new possibilities. Computer simulations suggest that a sudden seaquake could have caused a breach in the alcohol barrels, leading to a buildup of fumes that prompted an emergency evacuation. But what of the evidence left behind? The logbook, the untouched cargo, the set table, viewed through the lens of modern science, do they tell a new story? Experts now propose that a combination of human error, fear of an imminent explosion, and a misunderstanding of the ship's seaworthiness may have led to the crew's fateful decision to abandon ship. The Mary Celeste may never give up all her secrets. Still, with each scientific breakthrough and historical revelation, we inch closer to understanding. Through the fog of theories, piracy, natural disasters, human error, and even the supernatural, we've seen the cultural ripples that have kept this mystery alive in our stories and screens. Now, I propose a theory. Perhaps it was a perfect storm of circumstances. A minor leak leading to the smell of alcohol fumes, combined with a fear of explosion and an approaching storm, could have led the experienced Captain Briggs to order the crew into the lifeboat, tethered to the ship, to wait out the perceived threat. But then, the rope snaps, leaving the Mary Celeste to drift, and her crew lost to the mercy of the Atlantic. But the sea keeps her secrets, and so the tale of the Mary Celeste remains open for interpretation. What do you believe lured the crew into the abyss? Could there be a piece of this puzzle we've yet to uncover? Share your thoughts and theories, and let's continue the conversation. Perhaps together, we can inch closer to the truth hidden beneath the waves.